I bought this well over 20 years ago. I got half of it left. It is no ox IDA. You can actually buy this on Amazon. I don't remember where I bought it. This antioxidant, there are different products. The big box stores will handle one called Ideal. It's called Noalox. Another box store handles a brand called GB. It stands for Gardener Bender. Their name is OxGuard. That would be the top three brands, I think. There's no Ox ID, Gardener Bender, and Ideal. Start off light. Don't put on too much. If you put on a big gob of it in the heat of the summer, combined with the heat of the engine under the doghouse, it's just going to melt and drip. The most important place to put the no ox, and that's on the top and the edges, especially in the northeastern states where you get a lot of calcium chloride and that combination salt slurry on the road during the winter, it really corrodes this stuff up terrible. You can save yourself a lot of money, a lot of troubleshooting, by keeping a little bit of antioxidant grease on these connections. And I'll show you some that's well over five years old. Now there is a downside, it will draw some dirt and dust. But I would rather have a little bit of dirt and dust on it than corrosion. You have to decide. But it will flat work. It will fight corrosion air for the next 10 years. We already applied this one. This is on a new Kia. Of course, we had our rubber gloves on, but you just go around it and try to wipe your finger with it. Go very light. Don't, don't overdo it. Same way with, we did it on the edges here. And we did it just on the inside of this bolt here. Mainly all around the edges where the Post contacts the uh, terminal. Did not get around here. That's the fuse. That's what Kia wants you to hook onto this anyway, because this is the fuse part. Use the designated fuse only. That would be right here. We wiped along these two edges here where these two meet. This is a cable that runs down to the ground. This is one we just videoed. Let's see if I can pick that up. Just get it on your fingertips and run it along the edges. Kind of wipe it along so it kind of scrapes along them edges. And on the post, just try to seal that up with the grease right up here. Okay, this is a 2017 Ram 2500 with a 6.7 Cummins in it. Now here's what I mean by where it will draw a little dirt. This is five years old, but the truck's only got a little over 20,000 miles on it. But it does draw the dirt. I can live with the dirt, but I have zero corrosion of any kind. Even though these batteries are pretty good. They're maintenance-free, and they may be AGMs. I can't find anything on them that states are AGM. So AGM batteries are the best batteries you can buy. They don't off gas and they don't vent and there's zero spillage on them. But you can see, I did all the connections here. These are original OEM batteries, five and a half years old and they still test good. And I'm not pointing out the fact that this does anything to the batteries. This just keeps the corrosion down, keeps it under control on the terminals. Now we come over here, here's another one. A little bit dirty here. See, I don't worry too much about the dirt. We have a little bit more road slurry, calcium chloride, and salt spray to worry about. These are the most important. They are as might be more important than battery terminals, but the grinding clamps on the side of the body, they need to be protected well because bad grounds can really give you fits. And it doesn't take a lot. Like I say, all you're trying to do is wipe it in the edges to fill in the cracks. Let the heat of the vehicle and the heat of the summer, the July and August, It'll kind of take over and this stuff will kind of seep into the areas where it is most critical. It will seal it and keep out any corrosive factors. Okay, we have another grounding site here that is right up front behind the left front tire. That guy there, now he's real dirty, but he's got the no walks all over him. I went heavy with him because of the location. Let me check it out. You're right here in front of the tire. Talk about getting any kind of a salt spray or slurry on it. Such a bad place to put it, but at least they put it out here where you can service it. That's probably why they've done it. Hey, thanks for watching. Drive safe out there. Have a good one.